for everyone interested in making a tube amplifier. I made a stereo tube amplifier halfway 2022. And I made a, a quite a few photos about how I made it. And you, here you see the, say the, the first photo, photograph of this series and you can see it is the ECL80 and that means that it is a triode pentode tube. That's very important. Uh, you also have say the EL80, the EL, say the whole EL family means it is a uh, pentode as far as I know. But the E uh, figure, the E letter tells us that there's, there's also, <coughs> sorry, also a triode inside all the electrodes inside this tube. Anyway, let's go to the, the next photograph when I can find it. Uh, the two potentiometers that I've used, they are surely visible in the whole uh, video series uh, about this project. As far as I know they were both one mega ohm. So when you switch them in parallel there is a 500k potentiometer and say when we are talking about radio tubes, radio tube amplifiers, uh, 500k or one mega ohm is say a quite good uh, potentiometer to connect to the grid of the, uh, the tube. Be it a pentode or a triode. And in this case it is a triode pentode. Well, this tells nothing, this tells not so much. Uh, I've cleaned, here you can see it, the ceramic uh, holders of the tube with brake cleaner. And that brake cleaner is very, very cheap. You can buy it everywhere. Uh, when you spray it on, say, these ceramic um, tube sockets, you can clean it. Well, here you see how uh, the holes were made. Uh, this is perhaps interesting to tell. There is here a kind of aluminum uh, part. And you can see how it was made. And I've drilled the holes. And that's also say, a, a kind of good idea to mount all the potentiometers here on the front and then on the uh, say on the uh, the back side you can use template. Here I'm drilling out uh, the holes for the potentiometers. Here uh, again I've made here entwined uh, wires of massive copper wire to solder to all the uh, solder it to all the tube sockets. You see it better. Here you see it again better. 20 June two zero, uh, 2022 I made it. Well that's quite a long time ago but anyway there's a series of videos about how I made this <coughs> tube amplifier and these are the photographs. Anyway again two of these tube sockets the potentiometer are mounted here. The underside <coughs> is covered with tin plate and here are all <coughs> say the uh, the electrodes of the two tubes. Uh, it's in my opinion somewhat important to uh, indicate them before you do experiments uh, because you can take conclusions. When uh, 
tube circuit doesn't work, etc, etc. Anyway, here again how I made it. And here again the same thing. This was my transformer that I've used. Um, secondary 12 volt. Uh, I think I made it with a uh, a uh, voltage regulator and I have as far as I know supplied the uh, filaments of the tubes with DC so direct current. This is another uh, transformer that I've used perhaps this was uh, the transformer that I've used but anyway uh, all is about say DC current to the tubes. I don't know what this is anyway. Well, uh, that's of course a logical. This is the one and only minus here. Connected from the upper part of the, um, the wooden breadboard to the underside where it's soldered to the template that uh, gives the shielding. So here the say classical way of making a bridge rectifier and I've used that of course to supply the tubes with DC and at the same time I've used this to uh, give the tubes as far as I know a negative voltage. The, that negative voltage is sometimes necessary so I, I, I want to go to the next photograph to see what happens. You can surely see here that the diodes here are in a certain way reversed so that we have here a negative voltage and well I remember it again there are two potentiometers here of 100 K 100,000 ohms and they both set the negative grid voltage for both the triode part of the tube and the uh, pentode part of the tube. Anyway, so here the next stage. Here again that voltage supply. Again that voltage supply, nothing new. Again that voltage supply, nothing new. Uh, well, I don't know what this is, but I surely the idea was to make a shielded part on one piece of the wood. Here is the that next part. Now we we see here say um, the power supply, which is negative uh, grid voltage supply, and now it everything is. The power supply is now connected to the tubes, the triode pentode tubes. This is one of them, this is the other one. And I will give the link to the uh, schematic. Well, I have to go further, of course. Perhaps this was the final video. Could be. Anyway, uh, well, that was in this case then everything to tell. Um, did I make more photographs? I did, don't know. But anyway, I think this, this is say a kind of key uh, information about how you can make such a uh, tube amplifier and then especially regarding uh, the shielding on the uh, underside of the, the breadboard here the transformers that do the job etc etc so thanks for watching I think it was all and I want to refer 
to the say pro to this project that was on YouTube and I will give the link in the description of this video about how this um, two tube uh, stereo amplifier made with two triode pentode tube was made. Thanks for watching.